Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I've got another story for a character in my Leviathan universe. It's going to be about a character that is affiliated with Madame Shear, and is also very personal to Madame Shear and her boyfriend, James Maxwell, which was introduced in the past. Here's the story here, and just try your best to uh, keep up with me as I read this for you guys. I'm just doing all that I can. Consuela number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames at July 20th, 2015. To begin the story, we travel across New York City until we see a woman walking down one of the streets at night. This story is particularly about her. Her name is Consuela Sporks. She has green eyes, braided black hair, and is dressed in a black tank top with tan jeans and white flip-flops. While she was looking at her phone, a black van showed up, and a band of unscrupulous scientists captured her and took her to a laboratory downtown. Eventually, Consuela was injected with a series of formulas that made her forever transformed into a woman from the waist up and a massive black widow from the waist down. To make things worse, Consuela ended up destroying the lab and killed all the scientists, and she crawled out of the remains of the lab. Meanwhile, Madame Shear, the CEO of Blader Tech Industries, was having a good cell phone chat with her love, James Maxwell. Soon, James started noticing something off. Uh, Kimberly, I'm starting to feel that there's something wrong here. After saying that, James was snatched by something and his phone disabled. James, James, Kimberly said in worry. Her main computer system, Maya, then appeared and said, Sir, I think James was captured by something new. I'm starting to calculate that he's now being taken to some cave in the outskirts of town. It's just beneath a nearby mountain. And Madame Fischer finally said, Okay, Maya, activate the transporter to that location. When James awoke, he found that he stuck to a wall with silk, and that a few spiders the size of St. Bernard's were crawling around the place. He then saw Consuela appearing from the shadows of the cave. You must be James. Pleased to meet you, hubby. I am Consuela. At that point, James was getting scared as she started trying to seduce him. I always wanted someone to love, and you seem to be the perfect one. And she started kissing him and licking with a sinister green tongue, tongue, making him freak out in the process. She then sensed some footsteps coming out of nowhere and said to him, Well, hubby, looks like we have ourselves a visitor. And she covered his face with some of her silk and crawled to the ceiling in secret. Madame Shear then showed up and took the silk off his face. What's wrong, James? she asked him. Behind you, he yelled in fear. By that point, Consuela stabbed Kimberly in the back with her retractable stinger and went down to the floor. Who are you? And why did you kidnap my boyfriend? She yelled in pain and anger. I'm Consuela Sporks. Earlier today, I was minding my own business when a group of people captured me and transformed me into this. I'm not only trying to find someone to love, but I'm also trying to get my payback on all of humanity. And Madame Shear finally said, Why don't you get your own boyfriend? By that point, Consuela summoned a swarm of large spiders to attack the wounded Madame Shear. But despite her wound, she was still able to slash and slice all of the spiders. Consuela then decided to fight her solo, but although she has a spider sense... She was moving way too fast for her to avoid, after making her more dead than alive from the injuries. Kimberly cut James from the wall and walked him out of the cave. When Consuela awoke from some random lights, she noticed two creatures, one that's half woman and half Tyrannosaurus, and the other being a snake woman. Where am I? she asked. The T-Rex woman replied, You're in one of my temporary hideouts, Consuela. I am Tyranitar, and this here is Raprugan. We've heard that you failed at defeating Madame Shear, just like us. 
And in order to help you, we shall hire you in a new team driven strictly to destroy Madame Shear. It's called the Scantily Six. After hearing that, Consuela about it, thought about it and said, If this team will help me win my payback, I will submit. And from that point, Consuela became the third member of the oncoming Scantily Six. The end. Well, I hope you guys were able to catch up with me. And I hope you guys were impressed with the storyline and such. I'm just making sure not to leave you guys hanging. I'm just trying to be as efficient as I can with my data. So just bear with me in the long run. Until next time, uh, it's Leviathan. Hope you enjoyed the podcast so far. And if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And um, until next time... I hope you guys are willing to see more, and from that point in the long run, enjoy your time, everyone, in transmission.